Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the podcast, of the unnamed podcast. Joining me are three lovely individuals. First of all, we got Mr. Celery Stick. Hello there. Hey everybody, how you doing? And John. Hello, friends. And new introduction, we got Harry here from Harry Tomlinson Plays. Yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Harry. So, how's everyone doing? I'm doing Wonderful really good. and fantastic. Surprisingly yeah, energetic bad. for 2 a.m. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you all ready to cast your pods? I'm I've ready. got them firmly in my hand. Yeah. I've, been preparing I've already them all cast day. my pod. <laughs> Whoa, already, Celery. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's well, fucked up, man. I thought we would start off as we start off every podcast. Well, we've only done one so far, but... <laughs> 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 Do you know what it is? I've got an idea. It's Bieber news. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's Bieber news. Um, <laughs> well, I struggled to find some Bieber news for this That's podcast. Sad. That's really sad. That's really surprising, more than anything. Yeah, he's like plastered all over every kind of newspaper. Yeah. So, but luckily, <laughs> luckily, he did something cool that we okay. can talk about. Um, he got. He was he was on a plane with his dad just before the Super Bowl. Oh, fuck, I've heard of this. Oh, okay, <laughs> yep. Uh, I have heard of this. they were smoking shitloads of pot and drinking and were abusive to the staff on the plane. And yep. the the pilots had to put on um, oxygen masks <laughs> so they wouldn't get high. <laughs> yeah. You're kidding me. There's Isn't like six crazy? levels of obnoxious mixed in there. That is incredible. Yeah. I think I mean, the weirdest part is, that... is he was just doing all this with his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so like strange. Just father and son. Yeah, just well, father Justin and son Bieber Sr. Bonding. Really knows it's how to bonding. Rock it. It's good. We've all expressed our um, opinions of Justin Bieber, but Harry, are you a believer or are you not? I. <laughs> well, there is a right I... answer to this question, Harry. <laughs> I think he's a dick. There we go. Great. That's but... it. There you go. You can <laughs> stay. But, is what? Wait, what's the, what's the most recent <laughs> album? Believe. <laughs> There are he some very albums? good songs on that album. <laughs> there are Harry. some amazing songs on Belief, but I, I do not want to go anywhere near him. Like, <laughs> personally. He, oh, no. Thanks. Because he would try and get wise, you high. Not the it's worst. the hair, isn't it? It's the hair. <laughs> it's the hair, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I would admit, he's a great entertainer, you know? He is but very entertaining to us. <laughs> I know people that... Leonardo DiCaprio is not a dickhead, and he's got just as much money as this guy. Leonardo DiCaprio is a national treasure, all right? He is. <laughs> Thanks to Tom Hanks. Wait a minute. We got to talk about. If you're gonna do that, you got to talk about Jay Z. He's got. He's got real money. Yeah, he's got real <laughs> monies. He's got I mean, we're not talking money. about Bieber. We're talking about Jay Z. The thing that I find funny about Jay Z is he's got his own vodka, right? Really? Does he? He's got yeah. he's got his own I a few things. So when he goes to a club, he he drinks his own vodka. He's basically paying himself to get drunk, isn't it? Are you sure he doesn't like, just like sneak the vodka in like a plastic bottle and just like yeah, it's my vodka. <laughs> I don't have to pay for this. Just this a plastic mine. sticker on it that says Jay Z. <laughs> Apparently, I don't it's... actually think he pays for anything when he goes to the bar. Yeah, he probably owns really the surprised. bar too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Jay Z's vodka is called Armadale Vodka. Damn, Just a you're fun quick on the Google, aren't you? Yeah, I'm very quick. <laughs> so it's quite funny. The flight attendant said she'll never work another flight with Bieber again. I don't blame her. Apparently, he was like a huge asshole to her. <laughs> Can you imagine what that plane flight is like? Will be like. At what point is she like? She like she must have started off pretty excited, and then how far into yeah, the flight yeah, exactly. was she just like? Oh, the rumors are true. She's like tweeting She's all her friends. Oh my god! She's tweeting from an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was this like his own private jet, or is this it was, he wouldn't fly it commercial? Was G6, it was his own jet. <laughs> <laughs> it was his own private G six. I think Fuck, how this... how long how long was the flight? Because like, if he managed to like fill the plane with smoke in like a two hour flight. Oh god! Impressive. Where was he flying to and from? Is that, he, fly, that, is he that, playing to the Super Bowl? Who knows? Maybe he was just watching the Super Bowl from the plane. They just kept circling. Oh, watch another window. If I had my own private G6, I'd just fly everywhere. Just for 
for shit and, shits and giggles. <laughs> shits and giggles. I'll would you, would, you, would you try your hardest to get the pilots high while you were doing it, though? No, I don't want them to crash <laughs> no the plane. No way. See, that, that's where we differ from, Bieber. Yeah. Although, some people argue marijuana makes you more concentrated, so it might improve their <laughs> capacity. <laughs> I don't want to test that, that at 30,000 feet, though. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what do you guys make of all the uh, legalization in Colorado and stuff? You guys a fan? Um... I mean... <laughs> of the of the mar- marijuanas, uh, are any of us uh, from Colorado? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I've I've never done any of that stuff. Um, I have no plans on doing so, so it really doesn't impact me, to be honest. <laughs> cool, cool. My life's complicated enough. I don't need to make it more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I guess that concludes B- Bieber news. Oh, hey, I've just got good. a. I've got little, always... there is a jingle actually. <laughs> So that was my most fun segment, I think. Uh, there's actually a little, I just found a bit of news. Um, Justin Ooh. Bieber could face prison over a pot plane. Oh, wow. Aviation pot officials plane, in really? the US. Yeah. They've really launched an investigation. Really not expressing the drama of the situation when you call it pot plane. A pot plane, It <laughs> yeah. kind of makes a bit infantile and not really... That's true, actually, yeah. Not, not really coming across with the fact that he actually got pilots high almost to where they had to use oxygen from the survival system of the plane yeah <laughs> i mean before we continue i just need to ask one question why is he not in jail i don't know he's he's because he has a lot he of sh- money he was arrested jail, for dui right? like, he should be in jail fucking... wait was that wasn't the drink driving thing like not like he wasn't drunk like he, he had no, he, he had like a minute and high no, no, didn't he have like a minuscule amount of alcohol in his system? For like his age, it was, but for normal, oh yeah, adult, something like that. Yeah, I suppose. I know yes, way the, too much about the, the actual there. blood alcohol content isn't really relevant when he's what like 19, 20, yeah. underage drinking. I he's guess probably fueled with cocaine though. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> probably and quaaludes. God, we spend a lot of time talking about Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, we like... spend way too much time talking about Bieber. <laughs> right, let's talk about some games then. All right, I games. like this. Let's, I mean, we all have gaming channels. Let's talk about what games we've been playing this week. Um, oh man, who wants to start us off here? Shit, I'm not ready. Uh, <laughs> I'll shoot. Uh, this... Hold on a second. This week, I uh, realized oh. it's incredibly easy to emulate PSP games on PC. <laughs> and I and I have just fallen back in love with uh, Monster Hunter Damn. Unite on PSP. Nice. That game was like fourteen through like seventeen. That game was just my life. <laughs> oh my, wait, seventeen might be a little of, late. I but oh my god, Monster man. Hunter on my PlayStation such, One. Such such good game. I also played the card game. That was that was. There good. was a card game. <laughs> there was a card game, Monster Hunter game. Yeah. Oh well, I'm missing out. Oh man! I've... Didn't you recently play that, Jimmy? Didn't you play some card game on your channel recently? Hearthstone, baby. Yeah, Hearthstone. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Not I knew it was that. I knew it was something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are monsters and there's a hunter in it, though. That's true. Actually, that is true. That's true. Man, I love Hearthstone. The hunter. I love Hearthstone so much. <laughs> yeah, man, it's so good. It just sucks all your time up, doesn't it? It really yeah. does. So, have you been playing uh, Hearthstone as well, Harry? I have. I'm not great. Uh, I've just uh, I'm just putting like a few decks together and stuff. Not amazing so far, but I've been watching a lot of it. And my god, what a good game! What a great game! And my it my uh, my housemate game. plays it as well. And we like had a f- like a match sitting in the same room like with, as each other, and it was amazing. Oh so, man! Like, it was just <laughs> it was intense. so tense and good. Yeah, it was awesome. So uh, you know, I've never gotten into card games. I could just never do it. The good thing it about doesn't Hearthstone imagine, is, it doesn't like, feel like a card game at all. Yeah, that's that's why I feel it's just like it's so it. easy to understand and so easy to get into. I found. Yeah, and I think a massive part of it is like the design of it and like the UI and all the design choices just come together to like yeah, it's, it's just more okay. fun. Like, I mean, I've played. I've got the Magic the Gathering uh, like PC game, oh, and yeah, I, re- okay. I I like Magic. Like I. I'm not good at it. I've only played it a bit, but I do really like the <laughs> idea of it. But the the PC game just sucks compared to Hearthstone. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're really comparable games, but Hearthstone is just fun and interesting and accessible. Right, and... you're just having a good time playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah like most the... of the time, I don't 
I don't care if I like if I lose. I'm just like, oh, they did really cool stuff. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah it's not a huge I got, deal. Um, I got beat in one turn with full health. I saw that <laughs> wow. video. That was it amazing. Was, <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. You were just sitting there. You got. Huh. I just sat back old. and went, "Fuck it, I can't do shit." <laughs> wow, that's good. That's good. <laughs> just clap, slow clapped him all the way to the. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really oh god. I'm glad you put that video that was like a up. Golf clap. <laughs> you ever had videos where you just done so bad in the game you're ashamed to put it up because you're doing so shitty in the game? Yes. <laughs> well, I have no shame, so. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. man, I got a I video. Died. Oh, I did so bad. I just kept dying over and over and over. It was like seven deaths over and over, oh, and I shit. finally like, oh, I just gotta do this, and I passed it. I added something similar in one of my Alice Madness Returns videos where there's a lot of platforming involved and I fell off this... Oh, that'll do <laughs> I must, it. <laughs> I must have fell off this one platform like five or six times. And oh, fuck. There's just a point in the video where I just went, God damn it. I <laughs> don't know what to right. do. <laughs> I know that feeling. Oh, my gosh. Oh, platformers, man. Platformers are the worst. <laughs> Yeah. The parkour challenges. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, just jumping puzzles. Everything. You know, it's funny. I I grew up with platformers. Like, you know, I played the original like Super Mario Brothers on the like, the, the Nintendo and or, like the NES, the original. You know yeah. what I mean? And mm -hmm. I grew up with them and they were awesome. Back but... in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> I probably I probably played it for the first time and like Can you remember was... what the first game you ever played was? Yes. You can? Mine was Rayman Wait. 2, The Great Escape. Oh, damn. For the PC. Uh, mine, I loved that game. Mine was, I think, uh, like Super Mario World, like on the SNES. Oh, right. Either oh. that or like a Game Boy game. Wait, when did the Game Boy come out? Before, before, NES, yeah. or before SNES. It was black and white, like Tetris yeah. and stuff. So that was before SNES. <laughs> I, may have played, I may have played Super Mario... What was it called on that? Super Mario Land? The... Depending on I mean, it, it was, like, it was like a really weird Mario game, but depending on which one came out first, one of those two, I think. Hmm. Both. See, awesome I don't still. remember. Yeah, I don't. I don't know mine. I think it might have been Mario Tennis on the <laughs> Game Boy. Okay, nice. <laughs> I used to go to the pub with my dad after tennis, and the barmaid <laughs> had a Game Boy, and she let me play that while the adults talked in the corner. Wait, how, oh, how old were you? So, I have fucking knows, man. Really I'm young. drinking age. <laughs> eight or nine. And you still got to go into the pub? Yeah. Huh. This is back in Britain. Yeah. That's crazy. They wouldn't do that anymore, though, would they? Probably not. I don't know. I'm not sure. You can't smoke Although, in the well, pub now. I've, I've tried no, plenty of times to get, in, to get in pubs under the age of 18, and let me tell you, not so easy. Not so easy. Not so easy. <laughs> I think you know, it's it easier was when easier. you're eight years old than if you're like <laughs> 17. Yeah, when you're not, you're not fucked exactly. up. <laughs> I wasn't in, drinking um, pints or anything. I was just playing a Game Boy in the corner. I guess like pubs were more like restauranty than like full on bars, like I they are they were here. More chill, yeah. 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 Well, I know that in Canada, if it's like a a pub, not a bar, so if it's like a pub. And you go in, and it's before nine o'clock. It's like a, it's a restaurant. Yeah. So you can bring your kids in there. It's a, if it's before nine, it's a restaurant. But after that, yeah. it depends on the place. After it really that, depends. No like fucking it, kids. Usually it's no kids, but it really depends. Like if you're in there, let's say at eight thirty, and you're eating dinner until ten, they're not going to kick you out if you're at a table. No, obviously not. They won't. <laughs> But it's probably pretty rowdy by 11 o'clock, and you probably don't want anybody there. Yeah, <laughs> any kids. nine's a bit late to go for for dinner. I think. Oh, you're right, but who knows? I mean, I've gotten the munchies at 8 o'clock or 8.30 before. <laughs> uh, That's I true, the yeah. rules, but when I, I worked in a bar uh, up until last year, and there's a rule that you can give your kid, I think it's a, what is it? You, you can give them a glass of wine or cider or something. Yeah. It's like half yeah. a pint. So they're allowed half a pint or something. And I remember I had to serve this little kid, like, <laughs> half a pint of cider. Oh, my God. Because he, he was with a group of, like, older dudes. How little was this kid? Uh, I don't know, 14, 15? Four and a half. Yeah, four uh, and a half. I had I to think, drip I it think... in a drippy bottle. 
a sippy cup. A sippy cup. cup. <laughs> <sighs> I think I think it's once you turn sixteen in the UK at least you're allowed to have one drink with a meal. I think that's, I think it. that's yeah, sixteen. Yeah, you, you but do doesn't it like still that, have but... to be like cider? No, yeah, well it's... cider's stronger than most beer. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, like your normal ciders would be a couple percent higher. Sorry, it wasn't cider, it was a shandy. Shandy, that's the one. What's yeah. a shandy? Shandy's half What's and a half. Shandy? Half lemonade, half beer. Half lemonade. Oh, that sounds right. terrible. I've never had it. Oh, Apparently, well, really good. Popular. Yeah, it's actually all right. I'll have a shandy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like brandy, but shandy. <laughs> Shit brandy the poor is man's what it stands brandy. for. <laughs> Shit brandy. I'll have a shandy. Extra ice. <laughs> God. I mean, you, yeah. you can, right, you can buy, like, you can buy like Coke can sized shandies like from like corner shops and stuff, and Jolly they have like shandy. yeah, they have like they have like a tiny, 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 tiny amount of alcohol in them, but they're still branded as shandies and stuff, and like kids can buy them. Really, yeah. I drink yeah, them. Yeah, but I, I mean, there's like there's like no alcohol in them. Oh, okay. My, my sister would buy them. It's just, for it's us. just like a yeah, it's just like a drink. <laughs> And be like, yeah, let's get pissed. <laughs> Want to have some shandy, little boy? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, that is. So, Celery, what have you been playing recently? I've been playing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got, I've got so many I've been trying to catch up on. And so, but it's a long weekend here, so I'm going to get a lot of games in. So. Oh, yeah, it is. I've been playing... I, I've been playing one game a little bit called Teslagrad. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, it's yeah. a, it's an interesting game actually. It's really fun. It is a platformer. A lot oh, of jumping no. puzzles. A lot of just, but there are a lot of just puzzles in general. Like a lot of puzzles, and it's it's actually quite involved. It's really tricky. It's like got like the Russian like Putin's in it, like the Russian military <laughs> and like the Chechnyan rebels. <laughs> like they're all fighting all the time, and uh, it's kind of fun actually. It's a. Uh, it's interesting. Get all these upgrades. I haven't. I've. I've been about. I don't know. About two hours into it. Um. I'd play more, but it's just I got so many other games to play right now. I got to try them out. Yeah. I played. Um. I played another one. It's called Dawn of Fantasy. Uh, Kingdom Wars. Oh, oh my gosh! I spelled Kingdom Wars wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you spelled it wrong. Um, I did. I just realized that. Um. It's a. It's an interesting game in the sense that. It's like one of those... Do you guys remember, like, Age of Empires 3 and stuff like that? Like, uh... The 2D stuff? Classic. No, it's 3... Well, sorry. Like... It's sword. it's kind of 3D. It's like... I guess it's like third-person 2D, if you will. All right. But it's definitely yeah. it's definitely three-dimensional, though. Like, you can rotate the camera up and down, left and right. Um, rotate the axes, zoom in and out. And this is, like, really based on, like, combat and stuff. So you kind of feel like you're in Game of Thrones and you're, like, setting out the archers and stuff. It was it was really involved, but it's really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it took me, like, two hours. Like, it was so hard. I'd play anything uh, if they describe it as, it's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, shit. Developers like, you're going to be really that. disappointed. <laughs> I can't wait for the Telltale Game of Thrones game. <laughs> Yeah, that should that's be all you good. gotta do is every video, every video, just call it Game of Thrones. You'll be set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd describe this game as a uh, sort of like Game of Thrones. Come check it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Tetris, um, <laughs> Tetris, like chicks. <laughs> Tetris, but like Game of Thrones, Tetris. Yeah, and yeah, yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> There's one game I wanted to talk to you about is uh, N- Nidhog. I Nidhog. Need that, Nidhog. Yeah, I really want to get that. I want you that game, get but, it. like, I worried I will have, like, no one to play it with. <laughs> yeah, well, well, and also, we'll I don't, do I don't like know if I want to spend... a four-person tournament. Yeah, let's do oh. a tournament. Oh, my God. We'll do a tournament. It's hard, it's frustrating, but I got really good at it ne- near the end. I started, like, disarming the guys and, like, breaking their necks. It was pretty cool. Oh, it looks so much um, fun. I watched Sips play it. I did yeah. actually watch Sips <laughs> play it. You were so bad at it. It was so funny. <laughs> It's not easy. You could be winning, and all of a sudden, like the tables are turned, and you just start losing. Yeah, well, I'd like to do that. It looks like a good game. Yeah, it does yeah, actually look pretty it's good. It's a cool game. Fourteen ninety nine on Steam. By the oh, way. Oh really? No yeah. thanks. It uh, was on sale a while ago. Oh, that's yeah. annoying. I have I have no job. I'm s- <laughs> <laughs> when, when I, but you know, when I do have that, I mean, my my first my first big purchase is going to be an actual PC. Instead of my little laptop, but maybe <laughs> Nidhogg can squeeze in there somewhere. 
<laughs> somewhere. It is only fourteen ninety nine on Steam. You're not getting paid for this, John. <laughs> come on, Nidhogg. Come on. He is. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, Talk to he's me. not a paid product and he's not a paid product endorser. He's not going to get any money for it. <laughs> I can dream, can't I? <laughs> Mmm, this yeah. Mountain Dew is <laughs> delicious. <laughs> you got you got to hold up the can to the monitor and turn it towards the label. Like <laughs> so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. It's a syrup. It's just like ugh. Mm, Mountain Dew. Have you guys um have you guys ever played the anything from the Octodad series? Yes, I'm um, playing Deadliest I Catch played, right now. I played yeah. the I played the original one, uh, yeah. like fairly recently, like a couple of months ago, and uh, silly and fun. But I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not crazy about just fighting controls and cool. Yeah, gameplay. that's all it is. That's is your fighting like, controls? I like. Um, I don't think I want to play it. I want to watch someone play it. Mm. You can watch me try to play it. <laughs> I tried to play it. Which is kind of ironic because I make gaming videos, so I should play it and put it up on my channel. But I, I don't know. It's more fun to watch. I still play watch it. a lot. Watch some games, I still watch a lot of it. Yeah, some games you'd rather just watch somebody else play. I found. Yeah, but it looks kind of funny. But my only it looks concern really is that the humor would kind of dry up in the first five minutes. Uh, like, okay, huh, controls are shit. Yeah, I played but it I guess, for like uh, an hour and a half, and I still found it really funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, you good. you lasted an hour and a half. Oh yeah. I uh I just it wasn't for me. Like the game was well developed. It's not buggy or anything like that. Like I mean the controls are terrible, but that's the gameplay. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the point. I mean of the, it, yeah. it was a well well developed game, and I think they did a good job. I just didn't like it personally, so I'm not. I don't want to trash talk it, but. It wasn't for me. I couldn't play it for an hour and a half. But no, I, you know I really what? enjoyed it. I said that. I said that about Shelter, and I think I think you guys agreed with me for that one. But <laughs> I mean, I, I am, game I am intrigued. I am intrigued by Shelter. Oh, Don't you be. haven't played Shelter. I, have you tried I, playing I it? Have you tried playing it? No, I've never played it. Oh, oh it's shit. so good. That's why. So that's good. why you're intrigued by it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Actually, yeah, I was, I was intrigued. Too late. We, Teller Stick was giving out free keys like hotcakes. Oh, man. Earlier on. I think we're all out now, aren't we? I think we're all out. I had like 15 or something, or maybe oh, more, man. and they're all, they're all gone. Of, I have a copy of Don't Starve to give away in this podcast. Really? Ooh. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's like, that's like currency. That is like <laughs> top tier giveaway shit, you know? That is a good fucking game. <laughs> I think that I is have, a damn good what do game. I have copies of? It's I have the copies livelihood of, of my channel. That is John's <laughs> game of the year of last year that I'm going to give away. Did it that is come actually. out last year? Yeah, well, was there was a beta in uh, okay. end of 2012, and it actually yeah. came out in 2013. Oh, cool. I think I have a copy of Brutal Legend and Psychonauts. Maybe. Oh, Psychonauts! To give away? I think so, yeah. Damn, I got the perfect. Humble Bundle action. Every week I just get keys for the stuff that I'm not going to play. You so. get a humble bumble action? Before I purposely <laughs> delay what the giveaway is going to be so people have to watch more of the podcast, <laughs> let's move on to what John's playing this week. Wait, right. I'm not done yet, Oh, though. sorry. Oh, are you, are you, are you <laughs> caught up? Of games. Sorry, Celery. It's my um, turn. You, you missed out, man. Oh. No, you, can, oh, you go okay. ahead. <laughs> Okay, good. Because I, I played so many this weekend and this week too, so I was trying to get them all in. Um, I played a few games called one called Grim Grimind. Grimind, Grimind. I think. Is that, is that what it is? Grimind. Um, yeah. I don't know. I did play. Did you try it out? Yep, I did. A, I recorded the first impressions video a couple of days for it. Nice, oh, nice. did you? I just uh, actually I just recorded that like two days ago. I have it's, it's going to come out tomorrow at six o'clock. Be there, be square. Um, <laughs> By tomorrow, it's you mean today? Uh, for, um, future? February seventeenth, <laughs> six p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> I think mine's coming so out the on past, the eighteenth, actually. So in the past. Well, it'll be a. Did you get scared playing it at all? Uh, yeah. There was like. I'm sure you probably got to the part, but like when like the things with like the red eyes pop up. Yeah. 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 Like the when first like the time or the second time. The first time when like the thing was like slurping, I got like goosebumps. 
No, the first time didn't scare me. It was the second time they came that it scared me. Really? And it, did, it didn't really scare me. I kind of was like, ooh, what's that? Like, they're scared, like Outlast scared, where I, like, you know, <laughs> crap my pants, change a diaper, and put another one on. And then there was this game where I... It keeps you on your toes. It does. But it's yeah. not the same because it's not, like, immersed in it, right? No, you're, it's, it's uh, not... You're, yeah, it's not, like, first person, so... No, you're a horse. You're, like, this mobile horse. Are you a horse? You run around and... I have no yes, idea I what a, you guys are talking about. Maybe I was a horse. About. I have no idea what he is. <laughs> What's going on? I thought he on? was a horse. I uh, thought he was an amazing horse. Maybe. He's fucking weird. Um, all right, Jimmy. <laughs> me, Grimmind. Me and Jimmy just sitting here like, okay, scary horse action. All right, everyone. Yeah. Grimmind is a 2D physics-based adventure platform game in a horror slash creepy theme. Came out on 13th of February 2014 and is 9 99 on Steam. Thank you, Wiki John. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> It's Wikijohnopedia. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it was. It reminded me a lot of Limbo. Ooh, I yeah, like I, I was, just, I was yeah, just looking at yeah. screenshots of it. I didn't want to draw that comparison straight off, but yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It's a, it's a lot like Limbo. I love Limbo. Limbo yeah, Limbo is, is a great game. My my housemate has been playing Limbo like this week, and I've just been sitting there like behind him, just watching him struggle breathing. with these puzzles. Yeah, just, just breathing <laughs> heavily. Just breathing over him. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that, that's he's kind not of actually playing once. video games. He's just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not so much playing Limbo as asleep. Honestly. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> hey, oh, man. How hey. you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the absolute creepiest thing ever. That would just. That would top off. Man, this isn't cool. You gotta get out. <laughs> you wanna play Fine. some limbo? <laughs> no, Harry. <laughs> Here, pick up the controller. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. You can't really uh, play that game with a controller. Yeah, you limbo? can. Yeah, you can. I think yeah, you, you can. can. You can play anything with the game a controller. Confused. Literally anything. I've actually been, you put your mind I've been playing more. I've been playing more with my PS3 controller than I have on the keypad, actually. Mm. Use a PS3 I just controller. Have a, that's just what I have, yeah. Oh, interesting. Works pretty well. Fair enough. It's tricky because you actually have to emulate it as a 360 controller on your computer. Oh, god. So yeah. whenever... Well, yeah, but then all the controls in the game tell you to press, like, um, like A X and B or... and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, if they pre ask you to press X, that would be a bitch. Cause yeah, cause well, actually, the, the X one. is the well, same I've, one. It's I've, the same I've had one. the opposite problem no, this X week because I'm, like... I'm playing a PSP game, because I'm playing Monster Hunter. It's all... X, Y, triangle, no, not X, triangle, circle, square. And I'm just like, how numbers buttons do work? How <laughs> numbers buttons? Oh, so yeah, you're playing it on the keypad, so that's even worse. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm using my Xbox controller, but... Oh, okay. Still, there, there's, there's, like a level, there's like a level of what's happening here. Yeah. Well, you can map the keys. So it's like a, it's a 360 emulator, so I could map it, but each time I just figure it out. And it's, it's pretty intuitive. Like, I was playing... Um, what was the game? It's called Reaper. Uh, pale Swordsman guy. The pale. Yeah, that's the dude. Yeah. And I got used to the controls pretty quick. It okay. It took me like, I don't know, five minutes. You guys want to know something like, cool about the PlayStation controller? No, that's all right. Thanks. What's that? <laughs> Let me go ahead. The, cir <laughs> the circle and the cross represent yes and no. Oh. And the triangle symbolizes a point of view. And oh, the is square that... is equated to a sheet of paper used to access menus. Huh. No way. Is that is that yeah. why in Japanese games the circle is always like the confirm? That yeah. always messed me up no. in uh that always messed me up in like Metal Gear Solid games. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's it different did. from the UK. Yeah. But like but if you play like Final Fantasy Seven or whatever, the triangle is always like the menu, it took you back to the menu, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the uh Triangle's menu. Like Square doesn't paper was... much in Final Fantasy. No, their paper was shaped like a triangle, <laughs> so they just kind of got them mixed up a bit. <laughs> Triangular paper. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Man, people are calling me on Steam. I gotta go offline. <laughs> okay. I, I, I watched that video of your crazy friend on Steam calling you, <laughs> and he started yeah. yelling at you in like in like some language I can't distinguish. He does it all the time, <laughs> man. So <annoying. laughs> Does he do it on purpose? He's like, Jimmy! And he just starts yelling at you. <laughs> Let's go! 
<laughs> I was playing uh, 30 Flights of Loving. And uh, I just started the game. I did, hey guys, welcome to 30 Flights of Loving. <laughs> Steam call. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Hello? And he's like, 30 Flights of Loving. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? So I put that in the video. Oh, oh that's awesome. It was funny. It was actually funny. It's a good yeah. video. Yeah, that's it for me. I think I got a couple other games that I'm not really ready with them yet. Um, I got a big list of other stuff I want to play still, but I got like Ethan Meteor Hunter, Captain yep. Morgan, that's La rum. Mulana. You guys play a lot of interesting games on your channels. Yeah. Well, I just try to keep up with all the new stuff that's coming out, and you know, if, if you there's guys something there watch that's interesting games, go to their channels. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Holla. Well, people like to watch, like, new games is what I've found. That's so true. doing, like, first impressions of brand new games is a really good way of getting out there. Yeah. yeah. If, if, I had, yeah. if I had money to blow that I wouldn't spend... If I wasn't feel guilt of spending my student loan on video games, <laughs> then I would be on top of every game. <laughs> but alas, I'm emulating several, several year old PSP games and loving every second of it. <laughs> At least you're you know having what? fun. There's a lot of... I'm having exactly. so much fun. I that find those... Monster Hunter is the best game, and I won't hear <laughs> any other arguments about it. I remember the Monster Hunter PlayStation, you had to, um, to, get, to get like unique monsters. You had to insert different discs. Oh, no way. So you'd, you'd go to this place, and you'd insert like a music disc or some shit, and you'd get a unique monster. And That's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I've never seen anything like that in any other game since monster hunter well so like the physical disc yeah you change you'd, it out you'd and go it would in like... and they'd be like insert a disc and you take out monster hunter put in another disc and then it'll scan it and give you a monster that's really cool wait you put in like another monster hunter disc no anything like a so you'd put in like another game like a like a limp biscuit album and you yeah. could just <laughs> yeah. have some fun with it yeah limp biscuit you put so <laughs> what do we put this in what does nookie give me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty Wait, sweet. Is Nookie That's really cool. Limp Biscuit? What's that? Is Nookie Limp Biscuit? I think so. <laughs> Why do I think it's Green Day? It's no, that's Dookie. 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 Dookie, okay, thanks. <laughs> One's poop, one isn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good album, though, Dookie. I'm, I was a huge fan of that. a bit of Green Day back in the punk days. I'm not really a Green Day fan, to be honest. I was, I was. Until, <laughs> I'm until more like, the, what fucking album was that? American something. American Idiot. Idiot. That, that was my, that was my introductory album. Oh, and then that's the, the worst. At the time, I loved it, and I listened to it like two years ago, and it's literally just like infants with political views, just being like, the government's bad. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that All sums it up. Are... Yeah. Fun, but yeah, I didn't listen to that. I was more of a, a 50 Cent fan. That's right. That's <laughs> really? Did you, think, uh... did, did you ever play 50 Cent Blood on Sand or whatever it's called? It was awesome. <laughs> just great. I was running around like I was in the G unit myself. You know, I just held my gun sideways all the time. I had like gold teeth. It was it was, it was was the illest, illest experience I had had. Celery living the thug life. Living That's the right. Thug, I actually yeah. had that. I envisioned myself with that tattooed on my stomach, but uh, it didn't happen. I woke up, it wasn't there. Those exact words, celery, living the, the thug life. <laughs> when I got my braces on, I pretended I had a grill. Stick, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. No, I, I enjoyed it. I watched his I watched his video, his movie that he made. He made a movie? He made a movie? What? Yeah. Huh. It was damn good. Oh. Chicken Little did better than his movie, but um, <laughs> I cried. I cried. Did it was he play pretty good. Himself or was it Denzel Washington? No, no, no Denzel didn't play him. Uh, well, bad. Uh, he actually he played, played Denzel in a weird turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a weird year for movies. Right. Yeah. I, I'm gonna rope us back in here and ask John what he's been playing. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> yeah, rope us We're back. We're still in Get the gaming hook. segment. Get the hook. <laughs> um, what have I been playing? I I got a game called Fading Hearts, which just came out on Steam a few days ago, but like it was first released yeah. in November 2009, 
Ooh. And it's oh, a, I wow. think I, I heard of that one. Yeah, I heard of that one. Yeah, it's it's a visual novel game, and I've never really played anything like that. So I did like my first impressions video for it. I played like fifteen minutes, and then I was like so interested in it that I went and played it for like three more hours that same day, and oh, like nice. I beat the game. I did a couple more endings, and I had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, visual novel. It's it's interesting. I like visual novels. Me too, after finding this. <laughs> Apart from the novelist, which was pretty boring. I, I have that. never played that. I have it, I just haven't played it yet. I'm supposed to. I feel bad. I haven't got to <laughs> I it. got a free key, and I was going to do a video. I think I... Oh, shit, no. I released one. You did. You did. You yeah. did. That's yeah, what you discouraged me from playing and then it. I had two other episodes edited, but I was just like, it's kind of boring. <laughs> nah, fuck this. <laughs> I... I, yeah, I did my first impressions video on the novelist, and I really enjoyed it. And I was like, "Yeah, I'll turn this into a series, guys. Just you, just you fucking wait." And I haven't, I still haven't done it. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 it was just it, kind of lackluster. I thought, like, kind of generic story. This guy, you know. I thought it was. I don't know. It had an interesting idea. You could like fly into like light bulbs and stuff. Yeah. Mod simulator. Cool. Yeah, light bulb simulator. Um, what else have I been playing? I've also been playing a game called Little Racer's Street. Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. I got that one. I haven't played it yet. Sounds it's, fantastic. It's surprisingly really fun. It's it's a top-down, like, arcade racing game. So it's not first-person oh, or anything. Like Micro Machines? I don't know what that means, but I'll say yes. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it's it's really fun. It's I think it's pretty cheap, actually. Yeah, I've got, like, 49 minutes invested in it. It's like really casual. You can just like hop on for like twenty minutes, do a couple of races. It's uh yeah, it's really good. It's uh seven ninety nine on Steam right now. <laughs> do you work for Steam? That's right. I'm I'm talking to you, Milkstone Studios. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it three times. That's the deal. You have to say three it times. three times. Okay, I'll bring up Little Races Street again, which happens to be uh seven ninety nine on Steam right on now. Steam. <laughs> How much? <laughs> oh, uh, Little Racer Street. You might have heard of it from uh, Milkstone Studios. It's actually uh, seven ninety nine on Steam right now. Cool. That was three <laughs> times Milkstone. I'm waiting for my check. <laughs> um, that's that's about it for me, really. Oh no, oh no, Guys of the Wolf. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's talk guys about that for a second. Wait, we? guys is in like disguise or just a bunch of guys with wolves? Disguise. Oh, that's that's less exciting. Did you than see what happened to Wolfmen. Total Biscuit? I've that been shit? following Total Biscuit versus wow. Fun Creators so, so closely. For those who don't okay. know, Total Biscuit did a video on this game and absolutely bashed it because it is a horrible game. And Worst I don't, game what, wait, of the what, year. what is this game? I've I've seen talk of this game. I have no it's, idea what it is. It's just a piece of shit. It's... It is the worst game easily of 2014 so far, possibly is, is of the, the decade. One where... I don't know how to describe it, but go watch his go watch Total Biscuits video because it's quite entertaining. John or, had a really what, good one as well. You can't, you can't watch Total Biscuits. Or watch it got John's taken video. Down. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, watch... the, the studio sent him an email and they striked his videos. Copyright. Copyright. Yeah, and yeah, I told remember him this, to take yeah. it down, otherwise they'll sue him. Blah blah blah. And like he had a letter from wait, them. Wait, did this happen like a month ago? No, yeah, was... with a, this weekend. No, 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 like like with a different game. Yeah, that was with Dale Long yeah, yeah, yeah. incident. Yeah, uh, it's fine. censorship, <laughs> and Total Biscuit put it right. Like, in the for anyone who's listening in the industry, it's really interesting. Like, you contact gaming developers, and they let you do this. It's it's implicitly implied. It's heavily implied. And when they send like if they help you out and they send you a key, or if they let you play their game, they're they're letting you do it, and if they if you get a copyright strike on your channel, it's a big deal. Like it they'll really shut sucks. it down eventually. Yep. Yeah, like you can lose all your partnerships. And he's got a big channel, so he was able to like I'm gonna say stay alive through it. But if that was a channel like mine or John's or Jimmy's, they just disappear. Like you got no leverage because yeah. like like he like limp biscuit. <laughs> <Total> biscuit <laughs> make, he, he, make, he makes Total money biscuit. off this channel. That's that's. <laughs> That's his life, right? That's what he does. He doesn't do anything else. Like, yeah. We don't. But like, this is just like a... It's, Sorry. No, that's it. It's just very frustrating when you hear people doing that because it's... You make a bad game, deal with it. If you know it's bad, why'd you release it? The exactly. Quote from, the quote from their email is quite funny because they said, our studio 
is much bigger than your little YouTube channel. Wow. I saw that one. Yep. Wow. What so, a jerk. Total Biscuit. I mean, you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to anger the internet. And he's I, got feel like, I feel like I feel like that, did especially they, YouTube. <laughs> did they send those emails expecting like him to be like, "Oh, sorry, you you're good guys. I shouldn't have." I'll write a better game. review. Yeah, well, like yeah. they also said, "Don't tweet this," and he tweeted it straight away. Straight I'm away, like, yeah. Who? <laughs> what did this they expect? There's a lot of debate going on about they, it right did now. Did they expect to come out like the good guys in this situation? Not with a reaction like that. Nobody will buy their game. Nobody will buy any game from the studio. I mean, that's the between... sad thing. I mean, their PR has pretty much fucked everyone that works for that company. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But they deserve it because it's a shitty game. Just, just for like, uh, like perspective. Uh, yesterday, I posted a review of Guys of the Wolf on the Steam forums. <laughs> I said it's not recommended, and I said this game is terrible. That's all I said. And so far, 322 of 332 people found this review helpful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I also got banned from their, their Steam forums for asking oh, a question. <laughs> Great. Wow. wow. Uh, basically, so these, if you... this is like the biggest form of censorship you can find. You're expressing it's, it's your opinion huge. on the internet. Yeah. And it's, it's terrible. It's ridiculous. Like, I mean, I try, I try not to review games that I'm not going to like, like... Like, even Octodad, I didn't enjoy it, but I gave it a fair... Like I said, you know, it's well-developed. There's nothing wrong with the game. It, it functions well. It, it's, it was released at a, at a good point in its development, right? It's not riddled with bugs. It's nice I just didn't... Son. No, no, but I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it just what wasn't for you. Is, exactly. It, but the game was a good game in that sense. But yeah. sure. if you take a game that's just terrible, it doesn't work. The, the, it's full of bugs. The controls are terrible. It's got subpar graphics and they overcharge you for it and they just put a bunch of trailers to make the game look good yeah all of well, that then, sums up then, guys of the wolf <laughs> pretty much exactly exactly like i haven't seen your video john i haven't actually seen guys of the wolf oh, but i remember the previous funny i remember the previous game the previous game the total biscuit did i forget the name of it now and it was day terrible. one gary's it incident it was oh man yeah Stuff I mean, like it's, that it's probably a pretty angry. good thing that you forgot the name of it because you know they don't need well, you know, I, if it's a shitty game they don't <laughs> need anyone they don't need to be lingering around in people's heads that's fair enough fair enough i actually <laughs> don't remember it but uh, yeah this this guy's the wolf well that's too bad for i'm certain total biscuit will get it figured out i mean oh yeah, yeah. absolutely he's got the well, internet think, on his side man that's all you i need. think the big thing for total biscuit is he's managed by polaris so he's his channel is totally protected he doesn't even have to deal with it the the network will yep. deal with everything mm, and they'll right. make sure that youtube won't like take his channel away but like, yeah. like, like you were saying, for yeah. someone like us, if we get three strikes, we're just done. Yeah, yeah RPM's not going to help and us that... out. RPM don't give a shit. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. So. And that would have been his second strike in like six months, right? So the frequency of the strikes is a well, another factor. So it's actually, like, like the, with the Gary's incident one, they um, they like took back the strike, so the video went back up. Yes. And they, that means they yes. took the strike off totally. So he was back down to zero. Mm-hmm. Right, but like, good point. You're right. He yeah. did. He did two guys of the wolf videos, and they're both taken down. So that's two strikes out of three right now. Yeah, that's. Which is pretty worrying. Sucks. Yeah. Oh, well, it's brutal that like. Wish I him just, all I the just, best. Yeah, I'm. I'm planning on making like a like a mini documentary after the whole thing's done to like kind of, just like chronicle all the events of what's happening because it's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, so I, I make sure to, to ask all the developers to make sure it's okay to publish a game. I don't just do one without doing that. And there's very few publishers that say no. Like I, yeah. was, uh, I was, there's very few. Like I played um, the beta for um, Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. And uh, you did I was, you go in that? I was, I was, yeah, I'm in it. <gasps> and uh, I was little. one of the few. <laughs> I was one of the few, and I was specifically instructed not to talk about it, not yeah. to record. You can you can record it. You just can't release the footage. You can now. And you can, you can release fifteen minutes. Yeah, they lifted the um, NDA a couple of days yeah. ago. Oh wow! Yeah, um, but like, yeah, if you got into the beta, you had to sign an NDA, meaning you couldn't say yep. anything about it. That's right. So I mean, I didn't, I didn't release like that's that's fair play, right? They give you all the notice, heads up, don't do yep. any of this. Yeah. 
and so, the game was well it's in beta it's being developed right so it's can you talk about what, it now can i ask yeah you to enjoy? we we can talk about it now i think i don't know i have to read the nda <laughs> <laughs> well like they, they said i, that I can they say that it. I could say that you can talk about it. Now. It's it's, it's, it's everything you would expect. Sweet. Is I'm that fair be, to I'm say? Like there was. The uh, yeah. Really. No, I, I, yeah. Yeah. I hated it. Did you really? <laughs> I thought it was terrible. <laughs> oh, you played it as well. Yeah, I got. I've been in the last two beta weekends, and yeah, the, like the two last. That's right. Yeah. Oh man. The last one I didn't play. Um, the first wow. one. Yeah, the first one. Like, you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and halfway through Saturday, I said, fuck this, and I just stopped playing it. Oh, yeah, my, you stop my, playing? Housemate, my housemate got into it, and, like, I watched a little bit of it. It just didn't seem like much. Nope. It's like, it's not worth 60 bucks, and then 15 bucks a month, definitely not. But well, it's I mean, not, it's, it's, it's not still a full you know, game yet. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what they do with it, but, yeah, I haven't been impressed by what I've seen so far. No, I was totally okay, put well, off by the beta. Isn't know, I'm more in well, it for the story and stuff than the yeah. Well, maybe, I, maybe I should rephrase it. Maybe I should rephrase it. What did you expect from an online RPG? I expected. Have it you pl- to... ha- have you played any like super super graphically intense online RPGs? I played Guild Wars two. I hated That's Guild it. Wars two. It's <laughs> pretty pretty dull experience. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't really know what I expected, to be honest. I, I expected more, and I didn't get nearly enough from it. I, I think you're comparing it maybe to, uh, to actual Skyrim, let's say. I probably was. Well, I don't know. Like, I played enough of it to realize that it wasn't Skyrim. I played, like, a long time. I just got bored. Yeah. I just didn't feel like it was interesting enough to keep me going. That's fair. Um, I'll admit to that. That wasn't the greatest, I don't think. But I thought, you know what, for... For all you the diehards who want to play it until like the next Skyrim comes out or like the next you know chapter in the Elder Scrolls series or something like that, just something to tide you over. It's a good filler, right? Yeah. But it is, I guess you're right in the sense that it is a little steep. The price is a little steep. Like absolutely, I, I played Eva. I played Eve Online for fifteen dollars a month or something like that. But there, it was free to download. You don't have to pay sixty bucks up front. Mm. See so, that you should go with like one model or the other, not try and combine both. <laughs> I think they yeah. can, they can get away with their fan base for to charge monthly as well. Though. I'm not even sure anyone can get away with it except for like WoW nowadays. I think oh, it's just yeah. too much to ask. Big, I think they got a big enough. What about Final Fantasy Online? Do they charge? I don't remember. That's fifteen dollars oh, a month. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy's probably got a bigger. I shouldn't say that. I'm gonna get a lot of angry WoW fans. I don't know what's the bigger fan base. Is it? Final Fantasy or WoW, oh, but they're both pretty big. Wow. Def- definitely WoW. It's, okay, it's amazing how <laughs> strong that's still doing. Still, yeah. yeah. I know they've been like losing subs uh, a lot, but they're still like crazy strong. Yeah. Didn't they just do an expansion for that recently, like not too long ago? I don't know if they did it recently, but they've got one coming out soon, I think, this year. Is it? Is say... it something Dreadmore or something? Oh yeah, maybe that sounds. Yeah, familiar. that's it. That sounds Warlocks about of right. Dreadmore or I think something. the last the last one was the last one was Mists of Pandaria, I believe. I think yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That was a while yeah. ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. Hmm. Uh, wow. Yeah, I've, I've never I've never been I've never been into WoW. I've played the no, like, no. the free trial like a few times. Oh uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, but I was just like, yep, yeah, it's a it's an MMO. I'm gonna kill <laughs> sure pigs is. and <laughs> and get their fur. See, like playing Hearthstone actually makes me want to play WoW because all yeah, the characters that's, that's and all the lore seems yeah. really yeah. cool. I, I was playing it. I was like, oh, maybe I should go play Warcraft or something. But I think it the thing that stopped me from getting into it was the grinding. But now, the, the with the new release, I think they allow you to just create a level ninety straight away. God. Just yeah, I think they I think know if you yeah, I think bored. it's something like if you upgrade, then you just get. Or if you pre-order or something, you just get a level like a like a max level character. Yeah, straight off the bat. A lot of expansions are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you start an expansion, they start you at a certain level. Yeah. But starting at that level isn't always like that amazing, anyways. Like it's just like I don't know. They might start you at level sixty or something, but everything's kind of reset to level sixty. You just get to get to keep your gear and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So like level sixty is like the new level one or whatever, but not always. Just a little bit. <laughs> 
I know the thing that always puts me off. Of, um, speaking of EVE Online, did you guys see the massive <laughs> battle that happened? I heard none about of that, that. None of that made any sense to me. Like I was just, no, I didn't understand it. I, I I just like took people's word for it that it's like an incredible thing. I was like, huh, interesting. I, what uh, else is have happening? You seen some videos of it? <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't, no. I haven't played Eve Online in years. Insane. Can you like actually explain what it is? Because like Harry, I don't understand what happened to be honest. Not really, but I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. I have no idea what EVE Online is, but I just know that it's a <laughs> space MMO with big economics and stuff. But apparently, you have, you have control over certain areas, but you have, well, like, one... Oh, this is going to sound so dumb, but... <laughs> like, different colonies have control over different areas, and one area, their control expired. So all the different factions kind of swooped in to get it because the control expired which resulted in pretty much like the largest wreckage world war 17 <laughs> yeah and um they estimated that 300,000 uh wow. dollars worth of damages was caused wow <laughs> what to their servers that... and stuff like it just no, overheated to, or to what people's ships so they value the ships in um it's not like it's it's not is it, is real like, life like in-game money, yeah. But it's a it's ship like hours... is valued by the amount of hours you take to build it or make yeah. it. So this is not... Wow, the game's changed a lot since I've played it. So, that that, that yeah. wasn't the case so before. people it's didn't different. really lose $300,000, but 300000 It's just like the value in... of their ships. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's well, pretty that, that crazy, sounds... man. I mean, if you don't know what EVE Online is, go watch some videos, because it is just... It's pretty... It's, it's good. It's good. Sick, yeah. If you like, hey, that, like that, a, that a space idea shooter like... like that, oh, it's sorry. good. I should have had you explain it because you've played it. <laughs> well, when I played it, I played it like honestly when it first came out and I played it 2008 or nine, like a while ago. Oh, I played it a long time ago and it was different. Like there wasn't as many ships. There wasn't as many different factions. The PVP was different. The guns were different. There was like tier one and two and now there's like tier 17 probably um i had like my little guild clan there and we had our own little area or a little you get insurance and like i was a big mining ship so i was like a big economic ship so i'd go around and back then they didn't have all the security in place so i'd set up a macro so i didn't have to do it myself so i let the computer stay on all night and i'd set up a macro to go mine the asteroids back and forth for me in like safe space or something Damn. so then i'd get millions of in-game money and I was scamming the game, but it wasn't worth real money <laughs> then. It was just it was just in game money. Yeah. But just like on Diablo three or whatever, you can go out and like buy money on eBay and it'll somebody just give it to you in your account. Yeah. We never did that. But I guess I could have because back then there wasn't much security for that, but now it's pretty tight. But it was a fun game. It was really fun until people would gank you at the gates and like seven guys <laughs> would wait for you and they all just fucking like Those just, they all screw you. I think they still do that, though. They still do that. It was a lot of fun, but it's it's changed so much. I couldn't describe it. There's, like, so many different ships now, and it's it's worth... That's a game, actually. It's The interface I, I wanna is play so it. smooth. You, you described it, and, like, I want to check it out, but... Well, you might... I don't know if I want to get caught up in it. You might be in luck, because what I've heard recently, I was watching a podcast where they were talking about it. What they plan to do with the EVE universe is diversify into different types of games so they're going to make like an fps uh game in the eve universe and have it all simultaneously hello yeah hello i'm here all right sorry <laughs> we're, we're all very <laughs> sorry Jeez, you had our so attention quiet. we're at the edge of our seats <laughs> I, was just, I was just hanging <laughs> on to your every word but they're gonna have it like simultaneously affect each world so you can be on a planet fighting in first person and a ship from EVE Online can bombard you. Like attack it. Yeah, Which carpet bomb the place. pretty insane. That's a lot of like resources. Their servers just like, just imagine like the, the, the control, all the little, little details they got to keep following. That's crazy yeah, for that's, lag. That's awesome. Holy. Yeah. But we're reaching but a point always in been the good. future where technology is becoming crazy. So you never know. No, they're, they've always been good. They were, their servers were always in good shape when I played 
And I think it's like, I'm not selling their game, but I think you get two weeks free if it's like your first sign up or something like that to check out the game. If they still do that, I'll recommend it. You'll enjoy the game and it's free for the first two weeks. So you're not taking any chance or it was. I'm yeah. certain they have a similar thing going on now. Um, and it'll Celery suck you in. Celery is sponsored by EVE Online, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> Sorry, um, go it'll on. It'll suck you in. And it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's... It's hard though, and like if you die, you're dead. Can you imagine oh, really? in a few years? In a few years, you're like in your Oculus Rift, running around a planet, shooting stuff, and you look up, and there's like a giant ship bombarding you with bombs. Oh Man, god! Man, yeah. future's exciting. <laughs> it is. You, That'd you, be pretty you use cool. Use your razor hydras to shoot the ship down. <laughs> oh yeah. And then you get bored. You alt tab and have some Oculus Rift porn. Oh yeah. yeah. He Which masturbate the with the Japanese hydras as well. Already doing oh, that, of course. no, no, no. No, no, no Master Chief. No, no Oculus <laughs> Rift. None of that. None of that. It's got to be the Japanese that will already develop Oculus oh, Rift. It's already or... there. It's already there. I think one of Guaranteed. the first games released that, like with Oculus Rift support was uh, like an adult game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I read Beach it somewhere. volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> I actually tried to get a ha my hands on an Oculus Rift. I contacted the guys over at, I forget the, the people's name. They're the guys who make it. And yeah, they have Oculus a new Rift version. Co. Yeah, no. not the actual Oculus Rift. There's, there's a new one they've made. They have another name for it. It's the Oculus something something. And uh, sure. I asked them to, to review it for them, right? I'm like, I just, I didn't say how, but I asked them to review it. <laughs> and they politely said the very politely no. said that uh no. they don't have an oculus rift that they can donate for a review <laughs> but I, PS, I, PS, i'm more than this. welcome <laughs> no no they're they're to, very polite they were very tried polite to get me a free minecraft account as well <laughs> oh, yeah. that's pretty hilarious for the record i have my own account it was for jimmy i tried to do this yeah no i said i said for me yeah. <laughs> i appreciate it but i didn't think it would happen it was, it was a good try. Uh, yeah. There was a lot of people. They said that there's a lot of Minecraft videos out there on the YouTube. <laughs> but thanks anyways. They said you're welcome there to buy are. one. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. shit. I should talk about the giveaway then since... Oh, right now, now everybody, like everybody almost done listen the like podcast. the full way. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll but, make um, it work. I'll make it rain. I wanted to do like a, a <laughs> Photoshop rain, rain, slash photo editing entry competition. Right. <laughs> oh, man. You're going to get <laughs> so someone, many. Yeah, I know. So many. All the viewers are going <laughs> to I'm thinking. But uh, instead of just guessing what fucking song I'm singing, I thought I'd make oh, it a bit God. more challenging. Because it is, you know, John's game of the year of last year that I'm giving away. That's true, yeah. It's got to be... You've got to earn this fucking game. Yeah. So, what the challenge is, is to Photoshop our faces onto something interesting. <laughs> so, I'm going to provide a file down below in the comment, in the description. I'll pass it on to you guys so you can put it in your descriptions as well. Okay, so yeah. this is on and anyone's okay, channel, I'll, right? I'll include... I might include Harry, but it'll just be like your face. Your real yeah, life I don't, I don't, I don't have a. Yeah, face. my real, my real life face. I don't have which an icon. Might, I'm working on it. Which might Hopefully throw things off a bit. <laughs> so I'm we're just gonna all go ahead and say the three of our comic faces. Yep. Yeah. Our avatars. Yeah. What you if, do if is, I can, if I can get hold of an icon by then, then I'll be, I'll be in there as well. But yeah, you, you guys for now. So have a look at some of our thumbnails. You'll see like I photoshopped our faces onto like <laughs> Space Marines and stuff. So go ahead and do that, and I'll pick, or I'll compile them from everyone's channels, and I'll pick a nice one. How, how are they going to send them to you? How are they going to send them to you? Oh, they can email them to me. Or and you can just like comment with like an imager link. Yeah, you can do that as yeah, well. Yeah, you could do that. That's right. You can comment an imager link. Um, it's plenty you can of ways. Email you can Jimmy tweet if you it like. to all... me. You yeah, tweet. you should check out Jimmy's Twitter. You should check out Jimmy's Facebook. He's got an account there. You could do it that way too. <laughs> You can mail it to me. <laughs> you can like hand <laughs> deliver it to Jimmy. Yep. Yeah, you know, Most you can code. follow him to school. You can um, <laughs> listen to him breathe and just show him the photo when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Give him yeah. a limbo controller. Just, there's only one rule and the one rule is no gay porn. 
<laughs> don't Photoshop us into some mandingos. So, I, so, I support so this rule. Other forms of porn are okay. Yeah, There's I was no gonna say. Porn. Let's clear the no no animals, please. Okay, and okay, no, no porn, gay porn. No porn then. Sorry for no porn. discriminating. No porn. But but <laughs> but triple X casinos are It'll okay. Be funny to see your face on a pair of tits, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was like you on your uh, your zombie video there. It was very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well. There Should we go, I quickly talk about what games I've played? <laughs> yeah, sure, because we're still in yeah, the gaming <laughs> section from 40 minutes ago. I didn't, get, I didn't get to talk about some of the interesting stuff I found, but we'll keep that for another podcast. Okay. Okay, okay cool. That sounds we, like a great idea. We always end idea. up talking like, way just, more than we thought we would. I just finished playing Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. I still haven't played it. I bought it, I but still I have not played it. Either. Beautiful game. Absolutely delicious. Um, delicious. I don't know, it's just such a... You get lost in that game, man. You kind of just kind of lose yourself. I got so, like, immersed. Because it's so beautiful. I, I saw, I saw like, videos of that game, and it didn't really interest me. But the more I hear people talk about it, the more I want to play it. It's not a game you can watch. Yeah, so I kind of got that impression. I was going to do a video on it, just because I thought it was such a good game. But I was like, this is... It doesn't make a good Let's Play. Hmm. However, I had the problem with it, like, a lot of people had a problem with the Lord of the Rings games. This might be a bit of a spoiler, but I'm going to go I'm... ahead and say it anyway. <laughs> go for okay. it. Like, the whole game, you go on a big adventure to find this thing, right? Yeah. And you go far away from where you started, and to get back to the start, it's a really cheap tactic. They use a big bird. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and a bird brings An you eagle. all the way back. To Gandalf the start. whistles the fucking eagles, and yeah. And you're just like the eagles wow, are coming. The Deus saved, Ex Machina eagles. You could have saved yeah. a lot of fucking time if you took the bird from the start. <laughs> Which same with the Lord of the Rings films. Exactly yeah. the same that's, as Lord of the Rings. That's my only gripe with the game. Well, oh well. Same as the fucking Hobbit, the first Hobbit film. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're in trouble. Okay, call the birds. Yeah. Eagles! Eagles! <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually just, go! I just finished reading The Hobbit, like the actual book, and the eagles have to drop them where they do because they can't go any further into like a different land. Why? Because they'd cross out of like the realm of the eagles. But of course they never explain that in the movie. Oh. Oh, well, I guess it's okay then. Yeah, yeah, it's okay now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long did it take you to play through Brothers? Oh, um, I did it in three sittings. It might have been like two or three hours. Oh, okay. Or That's pretty manageable. Two hours? Yeah. Two and a bit. Sweet. I don't know if I could do like... Sorry, I remember Jimmy said... Jimmy, John, you said you played that, no um, that novel game. I am yes. really not good at reading aloud. Like reading... Like, I can read in my head quite well, and I can speak in public really well, but if I have to read off a script... Oh, there's, no, so if, like, there's nothing in this game to read. It's all, it's all okay, Simlish, then. right? There's no it's English all just either. Boop. Yeah, it's all... Nani, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> Shit like that. Oh, okay, so it's another language. <laughs> yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to, like, record Fading Hearts, though, because it was all just me reading out loud for, like, 14 minutes. <laughs> I, I, I get bored of hearing my own voice. <laughs> I just I just put on weird voices as much as I can. <laughs> That's pretty cool, yeah. I tried that and it just goes in and out. Like just I forget sometimes and other times. Oh, I, I don't always so forget. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that with my gone home playthrough. I just kept reverting to my Indian voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's only one home. accent you had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy does pretty good accents, actually. I am half Indian, so I should be able to do an Indian accent. <laughs> I should be able to, yeah. Oh my gosh, that... I have to send you guys a video I, somebody sent me. It's a it's an Indian guy doing this video, and it's incredibly funny. Cool. I have to find it. I'll find it. I'll okay. it. You'll find it humorous. <laughs> Sounds good, thanks. <laughs> All right. You sold it. You sold it. <laughs> on, on that note... <laughs> <laughs> What other games have you been playing, Jimmy? Oh, um, <laughs> well, what have I been playing? Just a bunch of random shit, actually. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> I haven't been playing one game much. My channel took of... a turn for kind of just spouting out random. Karaoke. Shit. Yeah. Have I you been think... playing oh, should... more, uh, more Euro Truck like a... Simulator? Um, oh my gosh. Not a lot. Oh man, I love that game. <laughs> but it is awesome just to chill out and drive a truck. It me. really is nice, yeah. Yeah. You'd be surprised. I thought that was, that was a good format for your uh, your channel update <laughs> video you did. It didn't go so well, did it? I, I thought it was like good, I, actually. Just, I really enjoyed you it. You just didn't pay attention to the GPS at all. I, just, yeah, I did not. You were halfway to Germany by the time you realized. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking... There's no turns to go back on the highway. No, that's true. Yeah, if you take the wrong turn, you're fucked. Yeah. And then I crashed, so... <laughs> yeah. And your engine malfunctioned, yeah. <laughs> Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. <sighs> it's brilliant. Hey, you know what happened? Um, John, have you played Oh My God Zombies? Yes, I, I recorded that a couple of days ago, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, did you? Because I played it today, and I recorded it today, and I saw your high score. So really? I actually, yeah, and I beat Woo! them, and I no. beat every single one of them. They weren't <laughs> even you, that sorry. hard to beat. <laughs> sorry, Jimmy, I interrupted you again. It just occurred to me. No, no, no. Uh, oh, that's so funny. Oh so man! So you got to look for that video, and you got to go and see if you want to try to beat my record because I kicked your butt on every as, single one. <laughs> as soon as we're done this podcast, I'm gonna load it up and beat every single one of your records. <laughs> I invite you to, because that game's hard. <laughs> it is hard, actually. Yeah, it's like a it's like a puzzle strategy game. It's weird. Yeah, it gets really hard too. If you want to get a good score, it's tricky. You can get like a shitty score pretty easy, but to get a good score, it's hard. How many levels? That's why of... I did better. Of course. I finished. Many... I finished one ending. I went all the way to the end on one ending. Oh shit. <laughs> um, I did like, I don't know, like twelve or fifteen. I don't know what it was. I. I pretty much got the for some of them I got silver I think for one I got gold but most of them I got bronze especially on the harder ones so everything okay. was above 70 percent I think I got better than 70 on every one I think bronze I can beat Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry we're just talking about games that you guys haven't yeah played sorry yet. yeah <laughs> anyway so before we all sign out I kind of want to say what if you did enjoy this, what you can look forward to from the four of us in the future. Ooh. We Ooh. might be doing some Left 4 Dead, the four of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think we will. And we're going to play a game called The Ship, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ship. I got to I gotta send you that. I think I can finally send it to you. No, you sent it oh. already. I did? Yeah, so we just have to play it. Oh, okay, um, awesome. There also might be a big Minecraft series we're going to start. Oh that's, yeah, that Celery's been masterminding. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's, laughs> which will be the first time I've ever played Minecraft, so that might be interesting. <laughs> oh wow, that that will be cool. <laughs> and am I missing anything else? No, uh, you got yeah. the Minecraft. Oh, is there earlier on? Yeah, I mentioned that I had games to give away, but since we got a giveaway, I'll save them for another time. I guess next next week. Or I'll yeah, I'll do yeah, something with those. next week. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to spoil our viewers. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> They've already got Game of the Year 2013, so... <laughs> I mean, what else What else do they want? Exactly. Um, just a, <laughs> We're also going to do Space Engineers again. That was what I was forgetting, yeah. Space yeah, Engineers. Yeah, that was it. I know um, we said we were going to do like a, a large ship building contest, and then Celery mentioned we have like a PvP map that we can do or something. Some racing yeah. shit going on there. Yeah, it was like a it was like a pod racers thing. So you can either like you could build your own ship and race it through the track, or you can there's like pre pre made ships you can try out. I thought we could do both. We could make our own ships, then kill each other all, and like just have a good time <laughs> doing it, and then then actually race the other ships and then kill each other after. I guess because uh, there is friendly fire, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of killing in. Well, that's pretty much what happens all the time. I think you end up building them, racing them, and then you kill each other. <laughs> of course, because what else are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've, we've got lots of stuff planned together, so look out and for all of yeah, that. That all sounds awesome. And if you are still listening, good on you. It's been an hour and a bit. <laughs> well you done. will be still listening. Yeah. You will be still listening. You will be still listening. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotize <Yeah>. them. <laughs> 
Probably should have put that at the start, the subliminal mission at the start of the show. Yeah, you will, you will be listening. You will like, subscribe, and <laughs> replay. You will click the ad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't click the ad. They'll get you if you do that. You will share this on Facebook with all your friends, and they <laughs> will share it, and do all that social networking hoopla. You will tweet <laughs> it to popular YouTubers such as Total Biscuit. <laughs> And even he shall retweet it and tell you to retweet it again. Thanks, TB. You're the Steam best. Available on Steam now. <laughs> $14.99. That's right. Uh, Fading Hearts is available on Steam right now for fourteen ninety nine. dollars Ah, shit. I'm looking at you, Every Sakura, time. whatever you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, then, everyone. Goodness. Thanks for watching. We good? Remember, don't be like Justin Bieber. Be good. <laughs> be thanks good. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, thanks you for guys are the best. This is awesome. We love you. <laughs> and peace out. See peace ya. Out, Bye. 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 Bye.